Hello and welcome. This is the 11th video in our series on automotive sensors. Today, we're diving into a crucial component that keeps your car running smoothly, the fuel pressure sensor. Ever wonder how your car ensures the right amount of fuel reaches the engine? Well, you're in the right place. By the end of this video, you'll not only know how it works, but also understand why it's so important for your car's performance. We'll also answer common questions like, can a car run without a fuel pressure sensor? Let's get started. So what exactly is a fuel pressure sensor? This sensor is usually found on the fuel rail of your engine. Its main job, to measure the fuel pressure in the rail and send that information to your car's ECU or engine control unit. Without it, your car wouldn't know how much fuel to send to the engine. Here's how it works. When your car is running, the fuel pump pushes fuel from the tank to the engine. The fuel pressure sensor keeps track of how much pressure is in the fuel rail and sends this data as an electrical signal to the ECU. Pretty smart, right? Now, why is this important? The ECU needs to know the exact fuel pressure to control the fuel injectors properly. If the pressure is too low, the engine won't get enough fuel and could stall. If it's too high, it could cause engine damage or waste fuel. The sensor helps maintain that perfect balance. So how does the sensor actually do this? Inside the fuel pressure sensor is a pressure-sensitive diaphragm. When the pressure changes, the diaphragm moves, altering the electrical resistance. This change is converted into a signal sent to the ECU, and from there, the ECU decides whether to increase or decrease fuel pressure by adjusting the fuel pump or injectors. But what happens when the fuel pressure sensor goes bad? Well, a faulty sensor can send incorrect data to the ECU, leading to rough idling, poor acceleration, or even the dreaded check engine light. You might notice your car struggling to speed up or using more fuel than usual. Good news though, replacing a faulty fuel pressure sensor is usually a simple job for a mechanic. And if you're up for a DIY challenge, you can do it yourself too. Just make sure you follow the right tools and manufacturer's guidelines. Let's quickly recap. 1. The fuel pressure sensor monitors fuel pressure in the rail. 2. It sends that data to the ECU to ensure proper fuel injection. 3. It works by converting pressure changes into electrical signals. 4. A bad sensor can lead to poor engine performance, but it's easy to replace. Now let's answer some common questions about the fuel pressure sensor. Can a car run without a fuel pressure sensor? No, it won't run properly, or it might not start at all. The ECU relies on accurate data from the sensor to control the fuel injectors. Without it, your car might go into limp mode, leading to poor performance. Will a fuel pressure sensor throw a code? Yes, a faulty sensor will usually trigger the check engine light and store a diagnostic trouble code, DTC, in the ECU. Look out for codes like P0087 or P0190. What are the symptoms of low fuel rail pressure? You might experience 1. Engine misfires 2. Rough idling 3. Poor acceleration 4. Stalling 5. Increased fuel consumption Where is the fuel rail pressure sensor located? It's usually located on the fuel rail, which is part of the fuel system that delivers fuel to the injectors. Depending on your car model, it's near the engine or intake manifold. That's how a fuel pressure sensor works in simple terms. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more in-depth automotive tutorials. In our next video, we'll be diving into the boost pressure sensor, so stay tuned. Click the link in the description to watch the full playlist on automotive sensors and continue learning more about your car.